Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Canada with Sobia Jib where we post information about Canada immigration and our life in Canada. We help people in achieving their Canadian dreams. Uh, well, a disclaimer, we are not an immigration consultant company and uh, we just share the information that is available out there to help you come to Canada. Let's talk about today's topic. It is about uh, top 10 affordable cheapest colleges uh, to study for international students in Canada. Obviously, you're watching this video because PR, you are considering, you know, either you are considering which option is best for you. Is it the PR or is it the uh, student to PR method? or you have already evaluated your PR method and that is not working for you. Somehow your CRS score is not in that cutoff uh, range. So you are looking at the student to PR method. This is the second most common, I would say, method that people uh, use to move to Canada. And uh, when they come here, they uh, after they finish their study program, they apply for work permit for a one year degree you will get a one year work permit for a two years study program they would get a three year work permit so when they start working in canada then they would um, apply for a, a canadian experience class which is cec and then they multiply their points from there plus their study in canada so their overall crs score gets increased and uh, also if they get a job offer from a canadian employer that also multiplies their points and they would just not have to leave canada and they can just apply directly for pr so all these steps have to be taken into consideration before applying now when you are selecting a program please do so which is on the in-demand skill list for a particular either um, province or it is across Canada but do go for that program okay so let's get to the list so first on our list is Seneca College it is in Toronto in the province of Ontario and uh, it is one of the colleges that is you know uh, known for its state-of-the-art facilities and its programs it is, it is known for its innovative programs and state-of-the-art facilities. It, is, it offers over 300 programs and I'm sure you will find your uh, desired program in their list. And it also offers co-op or without co-op options. So you can do a bachelor's from there. You can do a graduate, postgraduate certificate or a graduate certificate or undergraduate certificates from. Um, but the weakness is its large class sizes. Obviously, when you have a you know, big, huge, I would say, uh, class size. Uh, there are so many students. Obviously, the professor to student relationship is the bonding is not that um, high level. And also, if you are taking an online course, obviously, it will, you know, it will be divided among those 30 to 40 students. And it also depends upon your course. And usually the courses offered by Seneca College, they are very, very popular. So obviously everyone wants to get, and also it is in Toronto. So everyone wants to get in um, that college. So that's about Seneca College. Number two on our list is Conestoga College. Conestoga College is known for its, um, I would say, empl employer relationships. And uh, Conestoga College is usually known for its employer relationships. It offers programs which are mostly well known in IT and the business sector. It, it offers a wide array of uh, co-op opportunities as well through their programs. But I would say Conestoga College, the, the it is in Kitchener, Waterloo, KWC. So the students living in those areas or if you want to move to those areas, that is beneficial for you. Otherwise, if you are looking at a high paced lifestyle in Toronto, that would be very far for you to commute for everyday, um, I would say classes. So that is its disadvantage. That's the only disadvantage Conestoga College has. Third on our list is Mohawk College. Okay, let's talk about Mohawk College. Mohawk College has a hands-on, college has a hands-on experience to learning. It has so many programs offered in community services and uh, engineering. It has limited offerings in some of the branches and some of the locations. It would have a less diverse student population as compared to the compared to some other colleges. Hawk College, I would say it is um, one of the famous ones because uh, it offers programs in business, healthcare, 
in tech, IT, engineering. So you can find your course of study there. And Mohawk College, which is uh, located in Hamilton. And but you would obviously be far from Toronto. College. The fourth college on the list is uh, Sheridan College. It is located in Brampton, but I'm there is a branch in Mississauga as well. So you will find your own. Um, I would say. Um, branch uh, wherever in the place you live but it also offers programs in business engineering and technology okay so the the best best part about Sheridan College is that its location and uh, it is in uh, Brampton I know that is the ideal most city to live in it's, it's a very vibrant city and lots and go lots of things going on in that city for international students so when you come here obviously you don't want to seclude yourself to some, um, I would say, uh, to a very far away, um, isolated, uh, small town or because obviously you would want to live in a big, in a happening city. It's not that happening as Toronto. But so another college on the list is Centennial College. Obviously, it is again, um, the, the it has a few campuses spread out. So you can choose which one you want. But unfortunately, your uh, course may or may not be offered in a particular campus. So you will have to uh, take the main location, the main campus location into account when you're looking for accommodation and when you're trying to find, trying to find a college. And it is also known for its business, engineering, technology course, Courses, finance courses HR courses so all of these uh, I would say courses um, are being offered there and Centennial is one of the best um, it's one of the well-known colleges and employers do regard the uh, when you pass out from uh, Centennial College so employers do keep that in mind because it is considered to be one of the uh, top five it comes under one of the top five colleges in um, Ontario fees wise also it is not cheap but it comes it is it is lesser than so you can definitely look up their website in order to choose your course there another on the list is durham college durham college is uh, again it's known for its it technology courses but the weakness first of all obviously uh, it's away from i would say toronto and everyday commute might be difficult Second is the, all the courses would, might not be offered uh, at all the campuses. So you ha you'll have to keep that in mind. And it is located in Oshawa as an international student. Obviously, you have lots and lots on your plate already. Uh, you're doing your full time studies. You are having a part time job. So you don't want to and you have to catch up on your sleep. You will have assignments. You will have uh, so many meetups online with your friends or in person to do those assignments in groups um, if your course requires. Well, I've taken two courses. I've taken two programs at George Brown College and uh, um, every every program required group, group collaboration, coordination and uh, working on projects together. Okay, another college on the list is Fenshaw College, which is in London. It does have different um, locations, like it does have different campuses. But again, all the call, all the programs are not offered at all the campuses. So always keep that in mind when you are looking for accommodation. Always check with your college first which campus they are providing that course uh, at, and always in your course description, always look at the campus that is offering that particular program okay the last college but not the least on the list is george brown college which is my favorite because i have studied there and uh, i would say that the best part about this college is uh, the professors uh, the studies it is at par the facilities it has one of the i would say state of the art facilities uh, on campus and uh, with i would say um, on campus as well as online learning as well with online courses so it's it has an amazing name in the market when i go i tell the employers that i am from george i've graduated from george brown college so they give me that you know uh, I'm, I'm respected in that way so it is it comes under one of the I would say top colleges in uh, in Ontario and also the the best part about this is it is in Toronto I would say um, for anyone living in Toronto for every uh, for anyone who wants that um, high city vibes that high city life uh, can go to George Brown College and uh, find accommodation there but the world the, the the weakness about it is Toronto has uh, one of the worst traffic systems and it's so many offices and so many colleges so many things going on in Toronto so obviously you will encounter this 
worse traffic every day so you have to literally keep that time in mind and keep that time slot in mind it is a bit expensive than the rest of the colleges that we have mentioned and other than that it is an amazing uh, place to go to for your studies so with that for example if you are studying in london say for example you are in a digital marketing course or a project management course but what if the employers there there are not enough companies who are but what if there are not enough employers or companies in london that are looking for digital marketeers probably the digital marketing jobs are more in toronto side so if you want to even work part time um, along with your studies if you want to work as a digital marketeer and that office requires you to be in uh, the office and that employer wants you to be in the office for a few days in a week or in the evening or whatever whatever for me uh, we've moved to uh, um, London and I would say that my digital marketing job opportunities have lessened uh, to more than 50% now whatever job offers that I'm having are uh, that I am getting are from Toronto and uh, GTA specifically GTA and specifically from Toronto and Scarborough Markham those areas so now I cannot move I cannot commute every day it is going to cost me two and a half hours uh, every day like that is one side i have to come back to home as well the same evening so it's like two hours plus two hours four hours travel time i cannot do that from london so always keep these things in mind when considering uh, a college and a city where to move to so hope Hopefully you will, so I hope that you make the wisest decision that is most suitable for you and your um, career, professional and personal life. So stay tuned and uh, follow for more. This is a list of most affordable colleges in Canada for international students. But I would say that don't go with uh, the price of the college where you're paying 10,000 Canadian dollars for a particular course or pro where you're paying, I would say, 15,000 um, Canadian dollars for a particular program. I would say pay probably 500, 600, 1,000 dollars more if you can and live in a I would say in a city, in a vibrant city where I would say there is more population, more work opportunities as a student, you will, as it is, you will have lesser work opportunities. So you will have to find work. Employers will not be able to, uh, you know, accommodate you in all the cities in, in smaller towns. So I would say and networking is very important for students, for international students, because obviously when you pass out, this network is going to help you get your first job in Canada. So that is very important. And also the more far away you go and the more I would say um, smaller town, uh, the, the, the smallest, uh, the the and also you have to create your own social life you have to create new friends in a new place so i would say all of these things do matter when you are selecting the college of your choice so always make the wisest decision one shoe does not fit all a, a, a student might have you know succeeded probably in a college in uh, uh, thunder bay or uh, i would say um, windsor probably uh, probably one of your friends have graduated from University of Windsor and they have lived in Windsor all of all during that time it might have worked for them but looking at your own situation do decide upon what is best for you what is best for your career and what is going to help you in getting a job in that particular field that you are looking for so stay tuned for more information and more updates on uh, Canada immigration and how to move to Canada as an international student or as a PR. Keep watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel Canada with Sobia Jib. And we also have a Hindi Urdu vlogging channel. Uh, so do like and subscribe that channel as well if you want. And take care and bye bye for now.